channel. I am so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below, the little bell next to that. If you click on that, that'll give you a notification of when I upload new videos. And welcome back to all my returning friends. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a nice long week, a hot week. So here on my channel, I talk about cross stitch and crochet and baking, cooking, everyday life, card chit chats that would be few and far between. But today's video is going to be all cross stitch related. I am doing a recap of StitchCon from last weekend. So this will be floss tube episode 21. Not a normal floss tube because I only have one whip to show, but that's all related with StitchCon. So we're going to dive right on in to this and just talk about StitchCon. It was everything that I knew it was going to be from what I went to last year. This year was just as equally fun and loved the whole weekend. I'm jealous of all weekend beers that are there now having all the fun that we had last weekend, but we're going to talk about last weekend. So got up Wednesday morning, did my little errands that I had to do before I left, pick up Wendy at the hotel that she was staying at, and then we drove to Ohio. Relatively uneventful drive until we hit Dayton, ran into some rainy weather. I don't like driving in the rain, just like I don't drive, like driving in the snow. A couple times it was a little white knuckle. More so when we got closer to the convention center. Heavier, heavier rain, couldn't see the car lights in front of me, tail lights in front of me. Some more white knuckling it, and then found out once I got to the hotel, we were in a tornado watch slash warning. I think that's what Wendy said. I didn't hear anything, didn't know nothing about it. Oh, well, we survived. But so I got there, dropped her off at her hotel. She was staying at a different one from where I was staying. I was rooming with Linda, who I went to StitchCon or met up at StitchCon last year. We decided this year we were going to room together. So she was coming in a little bit later. I just kind of kicked back, relaxed. Um, the hotel we were staying at is, or was, the Drury Inn, the D-R-U-R-Y, Drury, is that how you say it? Drury. Anyway, staying there. Uh, not only did we have breakfast included every morning with our stay, we had dinner every night and then three drinks each night. We only did that once with the drinks. We had dinner twice. So the night that I got there, I went downstairs just to see what they had. Because I'm thinking, what's it going to have for dinner-wise? wasn't too bad. They had some Alfredo noodles, some chicken strips. Um, they had green beans to go with that, or you could get that. Um, had a potato, baked potato. You can do a potato bar. They had nachos. Um, what else did I see? I think some hot dogs. And whatnot. So I fixed up a plate for me, got myself a drink, um, ate that, and then fixed up a plate for Linda to bring up to the room because she was coming in after dinner was done so she could have something to eat once she got there. She arrived, she ate, we talked, just kind of getting everything ready. Yeah, I don't think we went out after that. After she got there, we just kind of chilled for the rest of the night. Got up Thursday and got everything ready, got over to the hotel about 11 o'clock, got in line, was chit-chatting with people, um, hugging the ones that we saw from the week, the year, the week before, the year before, saying hi to new people, just chit-chatting, waiting. They had two lines going, one through A through M and M through Z. So Linda was in a line by herself and I got to stand with Wendy because we were in the M through Z line doors opened up at noon got right in got our table was dispersing things on the freebie table to get everything out of my bag to make room for all the new goodies that I was going to get um tables seated six so there's Wendy I and Linda and then the first person that sat with us was Nora she was a first timer came by herself um, she joined our table lovely lady hi Nora can't wait till we can get together again and then a little bit later, um, Pam and Vicki was standing there. We said, you guys are welcome to sit here if you want. So they sat at our table talking, where are we all from? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to find out that Vicki lives in the same town as Linda. And perfect match. So lots of coincidences, coincidences going on and just, it was all meant to be, all meant to be, just like last year. 
perfect table mates. Love each and every one of them. Can't wait till we can get together again. So Thursday, we decided we were going to go over to Keepsakes to the LNS there in um, Cincinnati and did our shopping for that day and just kind of got that not out of the way, but to kick off the whole festivities, we can get there and then spend the rest of the time at the convention center, stitching, visiting with people and all that good stuff. And my mission when we went to Keepsakes was to find fabric. I wanted to do lots of fabric shopping this weekend. I got a few pieces, but I got more charts than anything. I could, I didn't really want to just buy random fabric and not really have it geared to any projects that I was working on because I didn't really have any new ones that I was going to be starting. So, but there was one piece that I wanted to get fabric for and Linda was on the mission to help me with it. Um, unfortunately, I can't share any of that with you because it is a piece for my kids for next August. And I'm not going to say too much more because one of them watches. Uh, but a year from now, Maybe I'll be able to share it. So we picked out fabric, found that perfect piece, and that got started. And then I had to frog it once I got back home because I wanted to reposition it to save some of the fabric. So restarted it once I got home, but can't share it with you. Um, so we got everything we needed there. And I'm trying to think what else did we do with keepsakes. I think it was pretty much it. Went back to the convention center um, waited until the annex opened up for preview only that the annex is a extension of keepsakes for trunk shows that were going to be there um, for the duration of the weekend so things that were in there were not at the at keepsakes and vice versa what's at keepsakes wasn't going to be in the annex so that opened up for previewing only you could touch but you couldn't buy anything not till friday so ooing and eyeing over everything and making a mental list of things that we wanted to get once we were able to do actual shopping was fun. And then the seven o'clock hour came and that's when they just had a little brief, excuse me, kind of official kickoff um, of the festivities, talking about everything. And then we were on our own until 930 when we had to start packing up to be out of the convention center by 10 because they locked the doors at 10. So we stayed for that and went back to the hotel. We decided we weren't going to go to the late night stitching. We didn't do any of that this, this year. Um, by the time we got back to the room, both of us were so tired and we were just sitting there just kind of doing the final little chit chatting, you know, and go scrolling through our phones and what have you while we were laying in bed. And then we both got our second wins and we were up till midnight every night. So we could have went over to the late night stitching room. But anyways, so that was every night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday talk about Saturday in a minute. Um, so we're going to get on into everything that happened over the weekend. So I had two finishes on the weekend. I So I didn't do it on Thursday. So Friday, um, I finished, and Lord help me, what did I do with the patterns? Of course, I'm not going to be able to know where they're at. Hold, please. So of course, they were right here buried. It's been a long week. This was my first full week of transitioning into full-time. It was full-time last week, but I only worked two days because I left for um, the for StitchCon. So this was a full week of working full-time, Monday through Friday, and it's been a trying week. I do have my little beverage here. That's one of those frozen Dally's drinks of Bahama Mama. So that's my drink that I'm having this this evening. I forgot to share our little goodies that we got when we checked in. So we got our cute little StitchCon bag. Love it. And it's a decent sized bag. Um, we also received, I've got free flyer, free, free patterns to put back in here. I started filming this last night. So today is Friday that I'm filming. So it's going to go up for you guys Saturday. So Thursday night, I have filmed it, and I didn't like it. It just was, yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to redo it. So I kind of put everything back in the bag. Um, but anyways, got the bag, and then we got this cute journal that says, you can see it, StitchCon on it. It's got the little cork board down here, the 
pen, which writes really nice, and then the little stylus on the end. That'll come in nice on my iPad. So that I've got addresses and information from people on it. And I got hair in my lipstick in there. And then inside here are all the fun goodies that we received from people, whether they are floss drops, needle minders, pens, uh, thread keeper thing. I will do a separate video with I'll have everything laid out and show you. So I'm not going to go over each and every one of them because there's a lot in here. I didn't have any of this that I was going to do this year just because of different things going on and not having the time to do it. Next year, I will have goodies to swap with and hand out. But I'll show that um, insert it in the video probably here and then come back and finish up. So, and then all the fun floss drops. Oh, there's a needle minder in there. That's a thread keep there. More floss drops. We had a girl celebrating her 50th video, 50th video, 50th birthday here. There's some floss in there, a needle minder. We had stickers from Stitch, from keepsakes in our bag. Pens, more floss drops. This is that Vicki Clayton silks. So I grabbed a kind of a silver white and burgundy and more uh, needle minder from the bougie stitchers Linux stitch creates is the Snoopy Stacy stitches little stitch girl basic bunch um, that's a Tinkerbell needle minder from Wendy but all the fun goodies that every time I came back to my table there was something new on there fun stuff and stuff. All right, so now we're going to get into my finishes where I got to ring the bell on Saturday, no, Sunday and Friday and Sunday. I can talk. So the first one was from the Needle Art Freedom Quaker. I only had just a little bit to finish on that and I saved it so I could finish it at StitchCon. So here it is. This is on 32 count Murano Carré Ice from Zweigart that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So there is my finish. I love it. That eagle is so cool. So all I had to finish was putting in the blue little flower there and there and then the blue on that one and in there but that was my finish that I did on Friday which I will insert the video here <laughs> Love it. So now I just got to get it framed up and put into my patriotic area downstairs on my hutch. So that was that one. The second finish I did on Sunday and I had the majority of it done before I left. So I just had just the border to do and I knew I wanted it to finish it there is the Michigan. So the Charms Flag State from Heinz. Is that how you say that? So that and that is on... 32 count white jobelin and then all the called for floss and I have to update my little cards of my finish on that and I got a hair in my mouth. There's my finish. I love it. So on the Michigan they have the lighthouse charm. The little green X I put in. Green X? The red X. The red X I put on there, that is where I am at. So whenever we say, where are you from? I said, I'm from Michigan and I'm right, right here. So I just put the little, the red in there. So that is that. I'm going to finish it on, I think, on a plank of wood. And I'm just going to prop it up on my patriotic shelf. But that was a fun finish on that one. And if I have my video, I will insert it here. If not, but anywho. Oh, let's see. We had the Smalls Exchange, and again, you got to pick out a poker chip, um, either red, white, or blue. Was, that was the colors, red, white, and blue. So when you checked in, if you had a small, they asked you, and you just picked one. 
Mine was a white chip, number 44. So I did, see, ours was on Saturday at 11. Wendy was with me too, so she got a, a white one as well. So she was in the 11. I think Nora and Vicky had blue and Pam had red. Linda didn't finish one, so she didn't do one this year, which is fine. So Stephanie did it different this year. She, instead of going in numerical order by tens, she just randomly picked a group of numbers say she did 11 through or 10 through 19 or however she was doing it zero through nine yeah so then it would 10 through 19 so she just kind of randomly picked it so you didn't know when your number was going to be so that was kind of fun this year so mine was called or my group of numbers were called so i went up dropped my poker chip in the bag that pam was holding and there was two bags up there that had purple. One was just purple tissue paper. The other one was a full purple. I'm like, which one do I want to do? So I just kind of went eeny, meeny, money mo. Whichever one I grab is one. So when I landed on grab, that's the one. So it happened to be an all purple bag. The front of it had a snail. And I don't have the bag anymore. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere. But inside for my small was this cute snail on the purple. And then somewhere in here is glow in the dark um, thread i have yet to have it glow because i haven't been letting it sit with light and then being in a dark room with it but anyways there's my little snail so that'll fit somewhere i think i'm gonna put it on my little tiered tray right there so i'm gonna stick him in there there were a couple of different pins so there was some butterfly pins in there and then just some white pearl straight pins in there and that's not all there was a pattern from the black needle society savor life so savor life and all its magic and if you see how it's finished on a bag i have all of the the fabric the stuff and all the directions to do it so that'll be added and i've got some purple fabric down in my cart over yonder but I'm gonna see if it'll mesh well with the the fabric. So got that. And I forget my girl's name. I will have insert a picture of me and her in just a second, and I'll just have her name run across the stream stream, run across the screen. But I love it. So I'll insert the picture here. smalls love it I'm gonna set that aside so then to finish out Friday night we went to dinner all of us at the table we went to me Cozumel I think it's how you say it we went there last year so we went there again this year yummy yummy food and enjoyed our time there and then we came back we stitched some more and then it was time to pack up and head back to our rooms so we did that and then got oh let's back up a little bit a little bit on friday too um i forgot friday all about friday before we went into the convention center I'm trying to think friday night was the red Smalls Exchange Saturday is when we had ours at 11. So sat Friday morning, um, we got there early enough to go into the annex. I'm jumping ahead of myself. We went to the annex and got in line to get our stuff before the doors got open. And then they opened, purchased all our fun goodies. That was fun. And then Linda and I were heading over to our friend Pam's house. Not Pam at our table, but Pam we met last year that was at our table. She wasn't coming to StitchCon, so we um, had planned to meet up with her to do lunch, and she graciously opened up her home for us to go over there, so we went and had lunch with her. Fabulous food. She did outdid herself with her spread of food and just her atmosphere at her house. She has a gorgeous, gorgeous backyard with a pond and just it was just a perfect day and love visiting with Pam so Pam hi we love you miss you can't wait till we get together again so we did that on Friday and then we did our dinner Thursday Saturday night th Friday night I'm so over everything <laughs> I have everything going through my head so fast 
Oh, so we went to Mio, Mi Cosmel on Friday night for dinner, and that was really yummy. And then back to stitching, and then back to our rooms. And then Saturday we got up, and we had planned on just staying at the convention center and stitching and all that fun stuff. So we got some stitching done. Um, went into the annex a couple times, of course. So my start at StitchCon, outside of the one that I can't show you, that I have in my cute little Boston bag that Wendy made me. I started Daisy May by Stitching with the Housewives and I am changing up colors. So on her dress, I am going to be doing, I don't have the colors up here. So her dress, I'm gonna be doing Peoria Purple by Weeks Dye Works. So that's gonna be in the dress. And then the bunny is going to be in Brown Hen. And why I don't have my box, I do, I left it up here when I filmed last night. So, I haven't worked on it again once I get home. So Weeks Dye Work, Peoria Purple is what I'm gonna do, the dress of the bunny, and then Brown Hen, which is classic color works of Brown Hen for my bunny. The fabric that I'm using is Sterling by PTP 32 count. And this is my start. So just a little bit of his bunny head and then the Sterling fabric. My um, Grime Guard is from the Dollar Tree. It is a steering wheel cover and it fits perfectly on an eight by six Q-snap. So, and it's just spring, summery colors, love it. But anyways, that's how far I got on the bunny. So I'll start working on that again, probably sometime next week, because I'm working on the one piece that I can't show you guys. I kind of want to get as much as that one done so that way I can just put it up and then not take the chance of the kids popping over and accidentally seeing it. So that was my second stitch or second start at get back in there at StitchCon. And that's gonna go back downstairs with me. Um let's see. FO start. I guess everything that's left is haul. And I have a lot. Freebie stuff off the freebie table and then stuff that I purchased. So I'm going to start with part of the haul that I didn't purchase at StitchCon or, any, or at the Annex or at Keepsakes, but it was from Wendy that I paid for when I saw her in person here. Well, I gave it, gave the money to her. I keep sex, but I told her, whatever. But anyways, she gave me the bags, so I picked the bags from up from her. So this is bags by Wendy. She had originally showed this one on her floss tube video, and I will have her linked down below. Um, a few weeks prior to StitchCon, and I'm like, I want that one. She's what it? Oh, it wasn't this one. Scratch that. Scratch that. Scratch that. It was this one. And I said, I want that one. She's like, well, it doesn't have the vinyl that you like. I'm like, I love that one. I said, I want it. And then she starts showing the rest of the panels and I'm like, oh, I want that one and I want that one, but do it with the vinyl fronts. But anyway, she had this one pre-made when she was showing them. Love the fabric. They have Bible verses on them. This one is Matthew 6, 28 through 30. The backing fabric is absolutely gorgeous. The zipper pull, the beads, and it's got the little scissors hanging from it. So she brought that one. And then the other two that I got was this one. And that one is John 414. Living water, um, a spring of water welling up. The zipper pull, these blue beads, so pretty. And then the backing fabric, love it. And then the third one, this one and this is Proverbs 31 on there she is adorable love it and then my the rest of the dangly so it's got that on it there's a whole bunch more like this had broke off so I'm, I have my jewelry little needle nose players that I'll hook it back on but 
and then the backing fabric is the same love them so i got those from her and then she was handing out small bags that i picked this one that's the route 66 got your little flags on them um the zipper pull says oh happy day backing fabric i'm using this in the stitch piece that i'm working on i'm putting my scissors in there um any other little things so i don't poke my fabric and put a hole in it but love that so that will go back downstairs too i did get a few pieces of fabric one being when i went to stitch con or stitch i keep saying stitch con when i went to keepsakes i did get two pieces of fabric there one i can't show and it's a uh, it's kind of almost similar to not that one almost similar in color as the Murano Ice. It might be just a little bit more blue or grayer, but it's real faint. So it's that color and it's a 30, no, it's a 28 count. Um, I don't know the, the fabric thing, but when I be able to share it with you in person, I'll tell you more about it. So while at Keepsakes, I did find some fabric. I'll do this. So I, <clears throat> looking at fabric and I'm like, oh, I'll wait, I'll come back down. I just want to go kind of browse. I saw the year in the woods, the fox, and this was on my, my list to get someday. Well, someday happened to be this past weekend, the fox. They had it stitched a model there and it was a brownish color fabric. It's gorgeous. I will insert a picture here. <music> The picture doesn't do it justice from what you see in person. It was so stunning on that fabric. So I was on a mission to find something similar to it. Um, and then I picked up the floss, the uh, Gentle Art floss. So I picked that up. I didn't need to get the rest because it's DMC. But I'm going to stitch this. What I thought was going to be on this fabric that I picked up, but then there's something that I'll show you that I got Saturday. From Linda. So I picked up F O A W. I don't know who that's by. But anyways, it's wheat. It's a 32 count linen. And this colorway that I thought, okay, that's it's kind of got some of the browns in it, some yellows in it. It's more yellowy showing up on camera than it is in real life, but um to do that fox on and it was going to be perfect how I, what I wanted how I wanted it to show up on there until I'll just shorten because I'm talking about it Saturday Linda says I have something for you I'm like what you do she's like well just because I'm like all right whatever so she bought me some fabric and I got strings I don't know I just want to put put them in there this is by it's a 32 count Lugana. This is from Jody the Steel Sit Jody from the Steel City Stitchers. I picked up this fabric. And it's got a little bit of green color, but it's got the brown in it. That I'm going to do the fox on. So she had two that she had me choose from which one I wanted. She's but I got this one thinking for the fox. Going to be perfect for it so that's so thank you linda i know i already told you but i'm telling you again so the fox is going to be on that anything left over is going to go in any other project probably some fall projects maybe so this will get repurposed into some fall stitching i've got some things that i picked up that i could do it on and then while at keepsakes i picked up the b sampler by lila studio they had this in a picture frame, so it was really important. That's probably how I'll do it, is put it in a picture frame. But it's pretty. And I'm just looking at the... So it's for... Picture this plus mellow is the fabric. I could probably do on this, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
but picked that one up. And then this was on my list to get while I was there, if they had it. And it's the Broad Stripes and Bright Stars by Teresa Kogut. Love every one of these things. I'm definitely stitching this one first. Um, that one's cute. Oh, Lori. This one, we looked at that and I'm like, oh, what, that one looks kind of cute. You know, it's kind of plain, what have you. So when I was scrolling through or scanning through, not scrolling, so I'm not on my phone, I'm looking at the book. Um, scanning it, saw the piece. Oh, I didn't see that. Lincoln's Eagle's in here. I'm working on this one. I have that one. It's not in this book, but I have this one. Um, oh, goodness sakes, where is it? Sorry, Lincoln's Eagle. We'll find it eventually. Oh, right there. Okay. So it says old grand old flag. So it's so cool. So all you saw was just the top of it, half of it in the, on the front front cover. So that'll go into my rotation as will every single one of them. So love all of those. So that was from when I was at Keepsakes. So didn't spend a lot there. And the annex. Twice I did shopping. Or was it three times? It was twice. It was twice because I told told Barbara I wasn't going back in. Um, let's see. I just want to get this back in the bag so I don't. Or no, because I'm just going to put it away. Oh, let's sit right over there. So then went in. got United We Stand and Land That I Love from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Patriotic and Fall are my favorite to stitch. So grab those two as well as some fabric. This is from Fortnite Fabrics Cozy Cave. This is 28, 28 Lugana. Just pretty, pretty modeling. I am doing some I do my fall, some of my fall stitching on these, I think, is what I kind of, I'll show you the book in just a second. So pretty. And then Sue Hillis, Home for the Harvest. Love every single one of these. So yeah, some of these trucks I'm going to do on that fabric. Probably this one to bring out more of the oranges in there. Um... So yeah, love them all. So that was one of the trips in the annex. There was so let's see, that's one. Two and three are in this bag. I just kind of put them all in together. And there's, I'm just gonna pull it out. Or no, one of them I didn't need a bag because I just grabbed some needle minders for my my, my third trip. So my third trip, I'll just show you those real quick, were the needle minders that I picked up. This one is Reb from Rebel Stitcher. That's stitch one. The Rebel Stitcher of Lostitute. I have, or used to have, I don't know if I still have it, um, a hoodie for crochet that had some, some fun little comment on it that my husband didn't like, but I didn't care, I loved it. So I picked that one up. And then she had one more from her, the red Christmas truck with the Christmas tree. I'm working on a cross stitch piece with the tr red truck with the tree in the back. So I'm going to throw that one on there when I pull that out for Christmas stitching. And then a couple patriotic, and I don't know who, Cricklewood Crossing. Okay, there we go. So this one with the eagle head. And Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. So that was the third trip in. Let's go to the second trip. Or maybe it was the first trip. I don't know. So first went to the beeline to, so this must have been the first trip. Um, shopping all just ran in together. Fabrics we would get ours. So this is 
uh, Fortnite Fabrics Moccasin 36 count linen. So pretty. Don't know what I'm going to do on there. Fall stitching, patriotic stitching. And then this one, Fortnite as well, 36 count linen, Santa Rita charm. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So I got my fabric and then I went right on over to this that everybody seems to have picked up and there's gonna be a stitch along starting July 1st. So by Sue Hillis, the Stitch Con with Keepsakes House and the Stitchy Bus and all of that. I'm going to finish it on the paddle. This is from Stitch Etc. So that piece is going to go together. That one. Another stitch along that I'm going to be doing with Vicki from our table. This is Bent Creek Glory. And in the white, there is alphabet, the alphabet in there, and then Glory spells out for that. I'm not doing the alphabet I am doing glory but I'm not doing the the rest of the alphabet in there so I'll be working on that another patriotic piece and I'm waiting for my husband to walk up here any minute um, primrose cottage stitches happy independence day love that one something in my eye um, Petal Pusher, Bliss to Me, Every Leaf Speaks, Bliss to Me, Fluttering from the Autumn Tree. Love that. I might do the fabric that I picked up, the brown one, with that one. We'll see. Um, another patriotic piece by the Salty Stitcher Designs, We the People. Love that one. Little Stitch Girl, one of my favorite designers, United We Plaid, the little plaid houses. Picked that one up. And then one, two, three from Sue Hillis. Hello Autumn, the little red truck with all the autumn flowers in there. So that'll be a fun piece to start. Happy Thanksgiving by Sue Hillis. And then home for the picnic. I saw this model at Keepsakes and I'm like, oh, do you guys have that? And she's like, well, I can't really tell you. And she's winking at me. So I knew it was probably in the annex. Sure enough. So I got that. So the lots of fun, fun pieces to stitch on that. There. And then the last piece of goodie haul was this bag and I'm sure I'm I'm thinking Cricklewood Crossing on there but God bless God bless America land that I love absolutely love it it kind of matches my dress with the fabric here but love it and then the z z z z z zipper pull and the flag and it says sweet land of liberty but picked up that project bag so that was all my fun goodies that I bought and everything. I have a stack from the freebie table. I think I came home with more than what I put on the freebie table. Go figure. Um, I'm not going to show all of those. That's just old stuff, new, random charts. But this one I'm going to show though. Giving thanks. So this was out of, does it even say? Leisure Arts. So it's just a, just a little flyer in there, but it's this. I saw this on the freebie table, was looking, I'm like, yeah, and I kind of had it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. So I just, I left it. Was going through the brag table, saw this piece stitched. Stunning. I'm like, I have to find it. So I took a picture of the piece on the brag table and the little card of who designed it and everything, or stitched it. I'll insert the picture here. <music> are stunning so I went back to see if I could find this on the table could not find it oh my gosh shoot well then Pam my table mate she went up there a little bit later and she's like is this what you were looking for and she came back I'm like yes thank you so much so we're trying to figure out the conversion because there's a little chicken scratch everything down here numbers don't correspond with DMC 
don't correspond with the fancy floss. I'm like, what is this? So I went back and I'm like, oh, she's at table 14. I'll go look to see you know, what she is and just ask her if she, if this was hers from her stitch piece that she did. So before I could head over there, I looked at it again and I'm looking, excuse me, look at the card. So I looked at it and of course on the card, it t you can say who stitched. I had a piece because I was going to throw up one of my finished pieces. So you could, for the brag table, everything on there. So I would say the fabric and the threads. Didn't even think to look at it. It was stitched in silks. Those are the numbers that it corresponded with. And before I could go over there, and I didn't know it was her at the time, she was coming over and just kind of passing out some silks. <music> Which are in the bag. She gave us a couple samples um, for funsies. I said, did you stitch this one? Is this yours? And she says yes. And that was corresponding with the, I think it Vicki Clayton silks. So we'll see if I grab a few. Maybe I'll grab a few that I can stitch for the, the fruit in the basket, but love this one. And then all my other fun goodies. So that is everything from StitchCon. I am going to, at the end of this, have all of the pictures that I took, table mates, designers, oh, past friends that I met at StitchCon the, the year before, new friends that I met. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so that'll run here. So I'll just have the pictures of the slideshow with that after that, but that is everything that I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my version of my memories from StitchCon. And I'm going to head off here. So remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.